So our first module here in this course is what is PowerShell? Kirk, what is PowerShell? Can you tell us about it? PowerShell, I'll give you the technical definition first and then I'll give you the layman's term de definition second. The technical definition is Microsoft PowerShell. It's a task automation and configuration management framework for Microsoft that basically is consisting of command line shell and associated scripting language that's built on the dot network framework and dot net core. That's a lot, that's a lot of mouthful. Probably mm -hmm. scares you away like, whoa. All it basically is, is basically it's command line tools that allow you to do any type of bulk operation. It's, if you know DOS, if you know how to do a directory, if you can type DIR, if you can type in CLS, if you can type in, you know, go CD, whatever it might be, if you're com comfortable with this, PowerShell is going to be with you. Even though my title has the word developer in it, I'm not a developer per se. I don't develop code. So mm -hmm. if I can do this, you guys can do this. Right. It's, it, don't be scared because it's not that hard of a language to use. But it is a language in, in a sense. You can do a lot of, it's very, very powerful. If you're a programmer, you can incorporate a lot of stuff in there and do a lot of stuff using the .NET framework if you know .NET framework. It's basically, it's object-oriented programming. It's really what it is. Right. And then for IT pros, be, it's helpful because they can administer things much faster yes. and in a much more precise way. And from an auditing standpoint, you can actually right. do a lot better because you can have your documentation set aside right. on how you're going to do certain things in a repeatable manner. Right. Right. So that's really key. Right. For like for example, you talk about bulk automation. It's like you can have, say, you want to install ten thousand users into your actual enterprise. Well, you could go. There is a user interface inside of SharePoint to do that. You can click on the user interface. There's a form to fill out. You can add the name. You can add the company. You can add the title, all the way through. And you can click save. All right, that's user one. That probably takes you what thirty seconds to a minute to do. Mm -hmm. You have ten thousand of them to do. That's going to take you a long time to do. You can write a PowerShell script that literally will do that in three seconds. Right, and I can understand that from like an acquisition of a company into a major corporation and being able to bring in all those people or bringing in all of their assets or things like that and setting things up so that right. they feel included right. immediately after an acquisition. Right. You want to do it fast and it's, it's PowerShell is a perfect way of doing it. Yep. It's taking two weeks to actually get it to be done. You can do it really, really quickly. So administrators can also manipulate web applications, right? Yep. yep. So administrators can do SharePoint 2016 as well as 2013. You can manipulate web applications, site collections, sites, lists, much more. Basically, if there is a UI screen element for inside of, power, inside of the uh, product itself, PowerShell can actually access that, that particular UI element, anything you really want. And there are some places where PowerShell only is the way you can do it. Mm -hmm. There is no UI. So it's like, how do I get to a dead area inside the product, so to speak, when I want to do something, but there's no UI to do that? PowerShell is your friend. Yes. PowerShell is built in to do that for you. And what I appreciate about that is that it keeps certain components out of the hands of somebody who does have central administration rights, right. but they may not be very savvy when it comes to PowerShell, so when you need to resurrect something <laughs> from uh, of that dead space that you were talking about, um, it, it's easier for that administrator to have more authority. And by knowing PowerShell, just at the end of the day, it makes life a lot easier. And that brings in a really good point. Then that's going to be talked about in, in later modules when we talk about permissions in PowerShell. Right. The permissions in PowerShell allows the, 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 the SharePoint administrator to say who did, is going to be declared to use PowerShell because you don't want to have everyone in your organization to use PowerShell because there are certain permissions that mm -hmm. touch certain databases that you may not want certain people to have access to. Exactly. So when we come back, we're going to actually discuss what a commandlet is.